Hi everyone! In this video I'll be doing an in-depth review of the Holo Taco Work Life Balance Creme Polishes. We'll be taking a look at swatches of all four shades, colour comparisons to other polishes in the Holo Taco range, and finally I'll be looking at how these polishes perform in nail art techniques. Let's get started! The Work Life Balance Bundle consists of four shades in Holo Taco's Creme Formula, so first up let's take a look at swatches of each shade. The first shade I'm swatching is Board Meeting. This is a bold medium blue shade with excellent coverage. I needed two coats for full opacity. With all the swatches I finish by applying a quick dry glossy top coat, which helps protect the manicure and gives it a beautiful shine. I'm using Holo Taco's Glossy Taco. I also wanted to show you how each of the polishes look with a matte finish, so this is what it looks like with one coat of Holo Taco's Matte Taco. Now Holo Taco as a brand is all about layering base and topper polishes to create your own custom manicures, so I thought I'd show you how each shade looks with a variety of Holo Taco toppers. So here from left to right we have Board Meeting topped with Gold Flake Taco, Scattered Holo Taco, Everything Taco, Celestial Lights, and Sonic Unicorn Skin. And next up is a colour comparison with Board Meeting on my middle finger compared with other similar coloured polishes from Holo Taco. On my thumb I'm wearing Royalty Blue, on my index finger is Shady Navy, on my ring finger is Blue Freezy, and on my pinky I'm wearing Hydro Power. The next shade I'm swatching is Left On Red. This is a classic true red shade, the type of red nail polish you really can't go wrong with. It's super striking. And this polish has excellent opacity. I needed two coats for full coverage. This is what it looks like with glossy top coat. And here it is with a matte top coat. And now here's left on red with some hollow taco toppers. From left to right we have Gold Flake Taco, Linear Hollow Taco, Everything Taco, Twilight Shimmer, and Solar Unicorn Skin. Next up is a colour comparison with Left on Red on my middle finger compared with other red polishes from Holo Taco. On my thumb I'm wearing Naughty List, on my index finger I'm wearing Red Licorice, I've got Party Punch on my ring finger, and The Floor is Guava on my pinky. Next up we've got Work Bestie. This is a warmer, medium purple shade, and for those of you that saw my review of the OPI Xbox collection, it's actually pretty similar to one of the polishes in that collection, Newberry. With Work Bestie, I got full coverage in two coats. This is what it looks like with a glossy top coat. And here it is with a matte top coat. And now here's Work Bestie with a variety of Holo Taco toppers. From left to right I'm wearing Gold Flake Taco, Linear Holo Taco, Everything Taco, Twilight Shimmer, and Lunar Unicorn Skin. And next up I've got Work Bestie on my middle finger compared to other similar coloured polishes from Holo Taco. I'm wearing I'm Over Brew on my thumb, High Tea Hibiscus on my index finger, Magenta Jelly on my ring finger, and Pink Fizz on my pinky. The final shade in the Work Life Balance release is Here for the Payday. This is a lime green shade, it's super bright and bold, and can definitely read as a neon shade in some lighting. I needed two coats for full coverage, which is pretty impressive with a shade like this. This is what it looks like with Glossy Top Coat. And here it is with a matte top coat. Now we've got here for the payday with some Holo Taco toppers. From left to right I'm wearing Gold Flake Taco, Flaky Holo Taco, Everything Taco, Polar Princess, and Galactic Unicorn Skin. 
now we've got here for the payday on my middle finger compared to other similar colored polishes from Holo Taco. On my thumb, I'm wearing Matcha Maker, Full Charge on my index finger, Mint Mojito on my ring finger, and Mint Money on my pinky. Now it's time for some nail art. I tested these polishes for doing sponged gradients, nail stamping, and water marbling. So let's see how they perform. To test sponge gradients, I'm using a makeup sponge and two shades at a time, and I'm overlapping the two colors on the sponge. I started off with one coat of Not Milky White on the nail, which gives the sponged polish a base to stick to the nail. I found that doing two coats of the sponged gradient gave excellent results and I let the polish dry in between coats. The colors blend together really well. These polishes are all very nicely opaque, so they will be easy to use for gradients with all sorts of other combinations with other Holo Taco polishes. Next up, I wanted to see how these polishes could be used for nail stamping. I've had good results with stamping with a lot of previous Holo Taco releases, and since these polishes are quite pigmented, I had high hopes for using these to stamp with. I'm using a stamping plate from Moyu London and the details are in the video description if you're interested. I decided to stamp each shade over a lighter Holo Taco creme base. So first off, I tried stamping board meeting over Seafoam Home. And I loved the way this looked. Board meeting stamps really well, the design picked up flawlessly and the overall combination is something I would definitely use for manicures in the future. Similarly, I stamped Work Bestie over What Do You Pink? And again, this was a really amazing result. Work Bestie stamped really well, and the opacity was excellent. Next, I stamped Here for the Payday over Banana Hacks. And I found that while Here for the Payday picked up really well, it's a bit less opaque, so the final color is affected by the base color kind of showing through the thin stamped image. In this case, it's ended up making Here for the Payday look a bit yellower in the stamped design. So the overall effect is more chartreuse than lime green, but it still looks really cool. And here I've stamped Left on Red over One Melon Followers. Again, the design has picked up perfectly and the opacity of Left on Red looks really good in a stamped design. So overall, I'm really impressed with these polishes' performance for stamping, especially Work Bestie, Board Meeting and Left on Red. Here for the Payday still stamps well, but its color is a bit less opaque. Finally, I tried out a water marble design with the Work Life Balance polishes. I started by applying drops of the polishes into a cup of filtered room temperature water. You can see that these polishes are water marbling well. The polish drops are floating and expanding on the water. I've had to be a little bit careful with how much polish is in each drop so that the final design shows all four colors. And this was a bit of trial and error because some polishes spread more easily than others. With these polishes, the drops of Here for the Payday tended to spread more than the other polishes. So I'm adding less of Here for the Payday in each drop to ensure that it doesn't spread too far when I add that color. Once I've got my bullseye set up, I'm using a wooden toothpick to drag into the center to create petals in the design. I've prepped my nails with tape around the skin and I'm then dunking them carefully into the part of the design I want and using a toothpick to clear away all the excess polish from the surface of the water before pulling the nails back out of the water. I used a base of white polish on my nails to ensure a vibrant colored finish with the water marble design. I have to say the end result is pretty excellent. All of the colors look fairly true to color, although here for the payday might be a bit lighter due to how much it spreads out in the water so it's a very thin coat. 
So final thoughts, overall I like these creme polishes a lot. They're all really well pigmented and will be great for nail art, but they also apply well for a manicure on their own. Holotaco has had a lot of success with their creme polishes, and it's great as a nail artist to be getting shades that are highly pigmented and opaque, but still reasonably easy to work with for nail art purposes. Now I'd like to know what you think. Do you have these polishes or are you still thinking about getting them? Let me know in the comments. If you liked this video and thought it was helpful, please leave a like, maybe check out some of my other videos, and I'll see you next time.